What's up, guys? This is D, the Grim Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of Jason Jackson's career in NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Last episode, we finished up Jason Jackson's first full-time season in the Featherlight Modified Series, and we almost had the comeback of the century. Uh, had two straight wins with the second one coming at the final race of the season in Martinsville. Ended up with uh, only, was that, 67 points behind Anderson of claiming the end of the season championship. Where Anderson got us is uh, well, four more top fives. We would have had a couple more races, though, by the time I kind of got the car figured out a little bit. And, and uh, we're going to some decent tracks that I was kind of surprised at how I was running. Um, probably could have claimed the championship and um, could have potentially moved on to the truck series almost right away. Um, but we didn't quite get the championship, but that means we should be able to capture it this season. The car is completely maxed out with all the top upgrades that we can possibly get, so the only thing to do now is to hit this uh, NASCAR postseason, officially end the last season and uh, move on and uh, look forward to one more full season in the Featherlight Modifieds. Hopefully we can claim the championship by the end of it all and uh, start moving on to the truck series because I kind of want to get out of these Modifieds as quickly as I can. Um, I'm not overly f fond of these cars um, They're I, with all the things that I've mentioned and complained about before. But anyways, postseason, yep, let's do it. Let's do the thing. And uh, there we were, 67 points out, two wins on the season, two top fives, um, you know, an eclipse. Um, wait, hold on. Jason Jackson, though we appreciate you being a part of the Klipsch team, due to budget constraints, we have decided not to renew our contract. We will no longer sponsor your cut. Best of luck to you in the cut. Wait a second. Hold on. So... Before I continue on with this, I was I did one season where I did a full dirt series, a dirt season, and then I, I only ran like four races in the modifieds. And because I didn't meet the sponsor Klipsch, I didn't meet their standard of what was it like two top tens in a season. Uh, I didn't get any other sponsor opportunities, and I got relegated straight back down. Uh, full time to the Dirt Series. Now, I didn't meet Crazy Jack's uh, sponsor op uh, obligation either. But I got the two top fives and much more with Clips. So this has me a little worried. If I have to do nothing but Dirt Series again because of the way that this game works... <laughs> Let's see what happens here. All right. Jack Link's Beef Jerky. Okay, no. Uh, looks like we might get... Okay. They had me a little worried there. So, Jack Link's Beef Jerky from, uh, what's that, Chapel Hill, North Carolina? Jason Jackson. We at Jack Link's have had a tradition of excellence in the Featherlight Series. And after watching your performance last season, we know that you're the kind of driver we need for our continued success. If you can finish the season as one of the top three drivers, we'll pay you $42,500. Sincerely, Jack Nori. Um, Noir. Jack Noir. Jack somebody. It's Jack Lynx. Um, that's, I think, a pretty decent offer. I think... I think Klipsch was going to pay us ten grand or something like that for getting what they wanted at the end of the season. So I had forty something thousand. You could have seen it at the top of the screen at the beginning there, but we should have more sponsorship money for that, and we're getting some other opportunities here, some other uh, offers. So that's nice. We got one from Polaris. Uh, so that's neat. Jason Jackson, great finish to a good season. You just keep getting better in these feather lights. Are you ready to start racing for the championship instead of just a top five finish? If so, 
we would love to sponsor your ride. We can offer a hefty $30,000, but we want someone who can finish in the top five at least four times. Frank Diamond. Okay, so a little less. A little less. Bar Q Supply from Martinsville, Virginia. Bar Q must have been at that Martinsville race at the end of last season. Seeing what we can do when we can win there. Jason Jackson, nice work in the Featherlight League last season. When we saw you driving your limited but on your limited budget last year, the word that came to our minds was potential. With a real team and some real money, we think the sky's the limit for you. We'll back you to the tune of twenty-five thousand if you can just finish the season in seventh or better. Sincerely, Miles. Okay, so. In a little bit less than the other two offers. Oh, we got another one. Okay. This one, uh, Milken Auto. Uh, excuse me. Milken Audio. Excuse me. Jason Jackson. Tired of getting the same old sponsorship deals? Well, here is something new. And easier money can't be had. We here at Milken Audio just came out with our pull speakers... And to commemorate them, we're willing to pay twenty-four thousand if you can qualify on the poll next season. Well, considering uh, looking at my, yeah, I got two polls last year in those last two races. Actually, um, if I could just do that one time, if that's all they want, is one time to qualify in the poll. That's an easy twenty-four thousand uh, dollars. Sincerely, Gunta. Um, Big Al's moving. Congratulations on your truly mediocre... Mediocre? Mediocre my ass, guy. And I see a $20,000 offer there. Finish 15th place or better. Mediocre. Scott Carpenter. Big Al's. Right in the trash. Mediocre my ass. Second in the standings. All right. Uh, Klipsch. We were going to dump them anyway. Uh, because they abandoned me. Um, when I needed them the most a couple seasons ago. So being that finished second in the points, um, even with not starting the season out so great, we really made a charge uh, in the second half of the season. And since we're going for the championship anyway, third place or better in the overall season standings, I think that's doable. Jack Link's Beef Jerky. Welcome to the team, and we are now driving the 333. So we uh, we definitely got to change up that paint scheme to go along with it, but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Jack Link's Beef Jerky, welcome to the team, and I think I think the uh, season's looking good for us this year. Now there's a uh, look at the weekly racing series standings. Um, with uh, only the one race we did, got 19th. <laughs> Ted Finger, seven wins for Ted Finger. Not of uh, ten. Ra oh, he j he crushed him. Way to go, Ted Finger, season champ. Crazy Jacks, yeah, we appreciate it. Crazy Jacks, uh, you do budget constraints being the uh, excuse. Uh, Jackson Farms, uh, wow, that was a wild season you ran last year. Yeah, one race, one win. At the Jackson Speech Bowl. Um, you're just the kind of racer we're looking for. Someone who can run up front and gets our product noticed. The most important thing to us for you is for you to have at least a few strong finishes. We'll offer you a lucrative contract of five grand if you can finish in the top five at least four times. Hmm. I don't know about all that now. Um, looks like that is the only offer we're going to get. And we're not going to run four races. But just because, you know what? Why don't we stick Jackson Farms on the front of the car? Just because. Um, just like last season, I think I plan on doing one Dirt Series race. And that is simply to uh, make the amount of races for the season even. Because there's, uh, what was it, 11 races for a modified season so we'll run one dirt series race um just as a one-off and um that'll make uh you know an even two races for all the episodes 
Um, so that, that should work out just fine. So, uh, Jackson Farms, welcome to the team for our uh, one-off race this year. And with that, it's time to start a new season. We got basically $52,000 in our available funds, and the car is completely upgraded. So, we're not looking to spend any money all season long. So, as long as I can win a few more races, build the funds up, um, we can start building up towards uh, getting some upgrades for the truck series when we get to it. But before we get started, we got to change these paint schemes. They ain't, uh, they ain't going with uh, our new sponsor, so we got to fix that. Messed with it quite a bit. Um, and I tried to get the, uh, the reddish color as close to the logo on the front of the car as I can. And it's like you can't get it quite exact. You can get this close. Or it looks a little bit more purple-ish. But you know what? I think that's a pretty sharp looking car. I, I kind of like how the black fades to the white uh, on the front and the back. We got the white 401. We got Jackson Farm on the front with uh, their little pyramid looking thing. I think, I think that's a pretty sharp looking car. And I think that looks like a winner. So uh, that's what we're going to go with, but uh, the main story is what are we going to be rocking on the modified? Uh, I think I said it the first time, trying to come up with a paint scheme for this car. I don't like any of the templates. Uh, I just don't think they're good looking cars, and out of, the, what, nine templates, I just don't think any of them really look all that great, but this is what we got. It seems very basic. I mean, there's some flames and stuff in there, but I don't know, I feel like the flames are kind of overdone or I don't know they just I don't know if they're just cheesy to me or or what but then all the other ones just don't look that great but this right here at least um, again the paint scheme the colors kind of match the big uh, Jack Link's beef jerky logo um, it actually kind of even works with Larry's transmission on the side um, the numbers stand out the only thing that kind of sticks out like a sore thumb is that the stupid giant anchor with Don's on the front, but Don's Fish and Chips pays us out a lot of money if we can, you know, get that sponsorship bonus. So, um, I think, I think that's going to have to suffice. And um, there we go. We're gonna be driving the 333 Jack Link's Beef Jerky Machine. So, there we have it. Two pretty decent looking cars there, I think. So it is finally time for the first race of our season, and we are heading to the Denison Speedrum. Uh, last season was a mixed bag with Denison. We uh, finished 16th the first time around, but uh, moved up to a sixth place finish the second go round at Denison. But now with all of the major upgrades and everything else, um, hopefully, uh, we can come away maybe even with a victory to start the season off. That would be neat. So, all right. First race of the season, Denison Speed Drome. Let's get it. Oh, man. Feeling good about this. Uh, the ugh, car's rolling through the corner so good. Made one little change. Uh, that dude, I'm telling you, that right, rear, that right rear spring. That right rear spring. Just give it a little tap in that one direction. It wants, it wants to roll around the corner so much better. Um, I was running some of my best laps ever, getting, what, like 12 fours or something like that. Um, let's see where that's going to stack up qualifying-wise. Ooh, Anderson with a 12-3. There's Sullivan with a 12-4. We're at the very bottom, so... Uh, looks like we could be there in the top three. Um, yeah, I wasn't running um, average mile-an-hour speeds of 111s. Uh, 110. But, uh, whew, um, we didn't even finish in the top three. Um, you know, we'll be sitting all right as far as that sponsor bonus and stuff is concerned. So, uh, send it out of track, see what we can do. That 12-4 might have, might as well be a 12-5 about. So we can rip around here and get a heasier. down as much as I would have liked. Oh, and it wanted to push up. 
Yep. Yep, left a, left a little bit on the track there that time. Damn it. Still top four, though. Still top four. And I know I could do a little bit better than that. So, uh, we might have a shot. <laughs> Anderson uh, may just run away with this again. Um, but we can just keep him in our sights, you know, theoretically. Um, we might have a shot at it. Uh, some... Uh, Lap traffic comes into play. Eh, we might be there at the end. We'll see. Although the only thing that sucks here is starting on the outside. That's not great. We're here with uh, Gary Sojos. Soros. Whatever. Um, but yeah, being on the outside, that's not... That is not ideal. Not in the slightest. So... Hmm. We need at least... What was it? At least top fives, I think it was, in order to get the sponsor bonus for uh, Don's Fish and Chips, which is our big sponsor right now, at least from a week-to-week, race-to-race basis. So, here we go. The race is going green. Yes, it is. Let's go. Split the middle. Nope. Nope. Get out of the way. Yeah, I'll just go right here, send it in three wide. Yeah. Oh, and it didn't want to stay. Didn't want to stay. All right, hold on. Uh, Anderson gonna drive away. We gotta catch him quick. Gotta catch him quick and not let him run away. Oh, come on. Oh, he's right there. At 19 laps to try to track him down. As long as he doesn't get away, then we should be okay. We'll see that lap traffic come into play here at some point. I don't want to, like, fling it down into the corners real hard just in case I get a run and... Oh, he's going to go up a little bit? Oh, well, if you go up there, then you leave it open, bud. Oh, it didn't stick. It didn't stay. Oh, that's all right. We got it. New leader of Denison. Woohoo! Gary Souls moved up to second, but we're starting to put a little time on him here a little bit. Got some lap traffic coming up. We're going to have to navigate around. Yeah, a little bit of a wad right here, too. Anderson back to second. He's trying to track us back down. Under you. Is that Joel? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to have to go on the outside of Joel and the rest of these schmucks. Split the middle. Adios. <laughs> I'm gone. All right, Ten laps to go, and yeah, Anderson got held up in that traffic back there. That's what we want to see. All right, come on, fellas. I'm going to need you to move. I'm going to need you to move now. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Five to go, and with the lap traffic and putting down some decent laps got over three seconds on Anderson and Sos. Uh Man, I'm telling you, the, this car uh, rolls that corner so good. With all those upgrades and that, that one adjustment that I've messed with, and it's like my favorite adjustment on all of these tracks now is that right rear spring. Just bump it up a notch or two. And it just wants to roll so good through the corners. Woo, got a little bit out of the out of the groove there, but oh, somebody just somebody just biffed it. Oh, look at this mess. It's all right. We got almost four seconds on the other guys. There's the white flag. Just uh, don't flood the car up in this mess here. Come through on the back stretch. Hey, man, want to give me some space? Okay, all right. You know what? Checkered flag. Let's just get that done and over with. That was getting stupid. <laughs> yes! First race. First win on the season. That's how we want to start. Jason Jackson's coming for the championship this year, old boy. Howdy. <laughs> All right, let's look at some of these statistics here. Uh, Jason Sullivan, the fastest lap, but most laps led. On the move from fourth to first. We put a few guys a lap down. Oh, we lapped uh, all but the top nine. So, 
Uh, in other words, we kicked their ass. Um, well, that looks very promising on the season. I feel good about it. Well, we sent it to victory lane. What are you feeling on this one, Jason Jackson? Hoo-wee. That was fun. The oversized go-kart ran good all day long. Dennis and Speedrum, I had one hell of a good time here tonight. And I can't think of a better way to start off a fresh season than by crossing the line and capturing this. The checker flag! That's right, we got the checker flag. First race of the season, first double EA. And third checkered flag in a row. We took that momentum that we gathered at the end of the last season. We carried it on to this season and snatched up a checker flag already. I mean, again, that's the best way you can start a season is with the checker flag. There's no better way. But again, that go-kart, that oversized go-kart, it, it ran so damn good, but it couldn't have been like that without them sponsors. We've got to thank them, Cans Garage, the old restaurants, Don's Fish and Chips, Larry's Transmission, and Jack Link's Beef Jerky. I tell you, Y'all go out and you better get yourselves to the store and get yourself a bag of Jack Lynch Bay Jerk because that's good stuff right there. I mean, it's real tasty. You won't be disappointed. Boys, we got you double A in the first race of the season. And I tell you, my confidence is through the roof right now. Three straight wins. First one on the season in the very first race. And I tell you, we're coming for that championship. Jason Jackson's coming for the championship. JJR, we're coming for the cup. It's going to be a fun season. Stick around. Whoo oh, yeah, look at that. That's what I call starting off strong. Most laps led. We didn't lead them all, so Anderson got himself five bonus points, but that's all right means we're starting right at the top of the leaderboard for the season. Already got a win. That's uh, That's got to be a good amount of cash in the bank account. And indeed it is. Let's add almost another 20000 to the bank account. Now, how did I have $313 in exp Chassis, $300 aerodynamic. Okay. Never mind. Uh... There was a couple little incidents on the last lap there of a couple guys wanting to kind of get in my way. They kind of had to be brushed aside there. But, uh, okay, $313, sure. Ooh, this car is worth about $190,000. That's, uh, that's a lot more expensive car than I thought it was. NASCAR Heat Weekly. Yes. Opening day at Denison. Racing is back in a big way this season, proven by the record crowd of enthusiastic fans at Denison who were on hand to watch Jason Jackson master the track and capture the checkered flag as fans stream uh hold on as fans streamed into the grandstands with banners flags and cups and t-shirts with Jason Jackson's the car and number and stuff on it yeah Jason Jackson wins another one and matter of fact not only is it the first win of the season, so that starts the season off strong, but we got some momentum because winning the other two races too, three straight wins in a row. I like it. There we go. There's the race results and the standings. So, uh, Anderson, Soros, Sullivan, and Lee. F. Lee. But he's in your... But he's in the top five anyway. Um, it's a good way to start. It's a good way to start. All right. Oh, we got some other sponsorship offers here now. Um, at least two new ones. Uh, we got Gallup Inc., Ferris Financial, and the Tonga Toy Store. Sorry, we're going to have to pass you up. We currently have Ken's Garage, who isn't paying us basically squat. We got Larry's Transmissions. We got Le Mode, and of course we got Don's Fish Chip. So, with uh, some big offers too, especially to replace like Larry's and Ken's, um, we are going to have to look at what we need to do with our sponsors. So, uh, 
un momento, and uh, I'll get this situated. All right. After doing some finagling and uh, repositioning, we had to say goodbye to Ken's Garage and Larry's Transmissions. Uh, appreciate all your support, fellas, but uh, we're on to bigger, better things, and it's time to move on. So uh, we had to move a couple sponsors around, so Le Mode is now on the rear quarter panel, and Don's Fish and Chips has been moved to the door panel for some uh, higher-paying sponsors. So first, welcome Ferris Financial to the car. They're going to pay us uh, 3700 just for leading a lap, but the big one is if we continue to win, Gallup Inc. is going to fork over over four grand uh, for us to win the race. So all in all, with the sponsors that we had and where they were placed, I added it up, uh, we were going to make, if we get all the sponsorship bonuses, we were going to make $5,084. Now, uh, just by winning the race alone, uh, would give us all of these sponsor bonuses. The finishing first, tenth or better, fifth or better, and leading a lap. Uh, that now comes out to $11,237. So, I figure it like this. Yeah, that's a little bit more of a, uh, of a gamble. Because if we're a little bit off and don't even lead a lap, well then... We're also not going to win, so we're going to be out a couple grand at that point. But Don's will still pay out the 2000 for as long as we finish uh, fifth, and um, that means we would also get Lamode. So we'll still get three grand out of the five that we were getting, but if we can win the thing, um, then we're looking at it like over doubling what we're going to get out of sponsorship money. So. That could be huge for us. So Gallup Inc. and uh, Ferris Financial, welcome to the team. We've already started off with a win, so uh, things are looking good. We've got $71,000 in our available funds, and it is time to move on to the next race. We're going to be skipping this weekly racing series race here, and we are going to Crystal Lake Raceway. So with all of our new fancy new sponsors, the fact that we've got three wins in a row, um, hopefully we can walk out with some serious money in this race. So let's head to Crystal Lake and see if we can cash them fat paychecks. I'm not sure where I'm going to stack up qualifying wise with the rest of these guys in their times. But the car seems fast and I made a couple of my little adjustments, but it's a little bit more squirrely in the back end than I would like it to be, but it it it's so much faster. Um, so if I make my adjustment back one more, just a little bit on it's that it's that spring, it's that right rear spring, then it tightens it up quite a bit and it doesn't roll the corner as fast. So for qualifying, maybe I'll leave it alone. Maybe for the race, I don't know. I don't know if I should change it back. It's the first time I'm like, I don't know if I really necessarily like that, but was running some what 12 threes I think okay there's a 12 three by so oh there's a 12 two by L Lewis Ooh. well competition might be uh, a little bit stiffer here at uh, what was it what was this Clark Lake uh, Crystal Lake excuse me whatever um, well let's see what we can do well, 22 1 was the best I could do, but with the traffic and everything, that's, a, that's the best I could get. And I only did it once, you know, when the track was pretty clear. So I don't know what this is going to look like. But if we can. Oh, I'm not down where I'd like to be. You guys know me and my qualifying efforts by now not the greatest oh yeah look at it go down there to the line oh what do we got what do we got what do we got what do we got all right 22 three 22 three okay pretty happy with that it's 
scratch that. I'm extremely happy with that pole position, baby. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. And not by much, either. Not by much. But we got it. Um, Anderson down in fourth. We need to see him uh, move backwards. Uh, Gary Sojos down there in seventh. So those are, I believe, the top two that are up there in the uh, points with us after that first race. They need to go down the list a little bit further. Pole position is what I'm talking about. And uh, that answers my question. Do I want to change uh, my setting or my setup, uh, my spring, uh, back down a notch for the race? No the hell I don't. Because if that's the speed I'm going to get, that's the speed I'm going to need. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, might be able to... Uh, end this episode with uh, two straight victories. That would be a hell of a way to start the season. Let's not let's not count them chickens uh, for they hatch, but uh, pole position? It's about as good as it can look to start out with. What a thing of beauty it could be if we could get uh, a win for our two new sponsors. Was it Ferris Financial? And... Um, Gallup Inc. They would love to be in victory lane in the first race with us. Um, I would love to see what them paychecks look like with a win. But um, got to finish first here, and uh, we got a good, a good place to start. Obviously on the pole, so they can bring home a second checkered flag. All right. Going green. Rivis, what you got? What you got, Rivis? Huh? I'm gonna go into this first corner and you got nothing. Oh yeah, look at that thing turn. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, that's, that's not what I want the car to do. But maybe if the tires warm up a little bit, we can get a little more grip. There's a lap, so that's at least um, that sponsor bonus. Now we just got to win the thing, but we're running away. Already a second up on Anderson. Yeah, see, it's it's a little squirrely. Car's a little squirrely, but it's fast. It's definitely fast. Ten laps to go. And we're winding that motor out too. That's that's something else. I made a slight gear change. Because I wasn't hitting that, um, well, I was hitting that, like, rev limiter by the time I got to the corner, but it's like it was taking a while to get there. It's like, oh, I feel like I'm leaving some speed out there, and uh, I just hope that I don't end up ruining the motor. I shouldn't. I did many, many practice laps with it like this, and it wasn't an issue, so um, should be fine. Oh, yeah, 22-2. And I was looking at that instead of watching the entrance of the corner. About blew it. That's okay. Almost three seconds up on Anderson. Anderson uh, had a couple spots to make up right off the rip. Uh, he made it to second. He left Bundy behind, but we already had time to uh, jet out front. So he had some makeup work to do, but we're, we're putting some a little bit more time on him with each lap so now I just got this lap traffic here but uh, theoretically no you stay down there and give me my space theoretically five the five laps to go should already be home free for the most part Whoa. I knew you were going to go down to the bottom, so I knew I had to get around on the outside, but the other guy did not make that easy. But, yeah, threaded the needle, made it work. Lap, One lap. lap to go. To secure the second win in the second race. Is there a better way to start the season than that? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't, I don't like how much that's slipping and sliding, but God, it was fast. There's the checkered flag. Ooh, Jason Jackson with most laps led, the fastest lap. I mean, we handed out a Class A 
100% certified can of the Ash Whip in that one. Well, the Anderson, what, almost seven seconds behind? Yeah. Yeah, we stomped him. Stomped him. Hey. Again, if it's a little a little loose in some of them corners. I didn't really care for that. But, um, well, I didn't screw it up. Um, was able to get around the lap traffic pretty decent. There's quite a bit of front and back stretch in this track. Oh, two wins in a row. Damn, it feels good. Jason Jackson in victory lane. How do you feel? I'll tell you what. That was exhilarating. Crystal Lake Raceway. You boys got a fine facility here. It's fast. There's a lot of room to run, a lot of room to race. It was just a good old fashioned, good old time. But I said after the race uh, at Denison last time that uh, there's no better way to start a fresh season than with a checkered flag. And I was wrong, and I will admit when I'm wrong, because there is a better way to start a fresh season than with a checkered flag. And this with two checkered flags. That's right, we got ourselves another checkered flag. Second race of the season, a second checkered flag. And for Jason Jackson and JJR, the fourth checkered flag, the fourth double A in a row. I tell you what, we taking that momentum, and it's carrying us far and wide this season. And I'm looking forward to the other races that are still to come. And before I go any further, we've got some new boys on the car that I got to thank. Gotta thank all them sponsors because that oversized go-kart couldn't have been as fast without them. And I'm talking about Jack Lee's Beef Jerky, Lomo's Restaurants, Don's Fish and Chips, and the new ones, Gal Bank and Ferris Financial. Got you boys a double yay in your first race with us. That's what you made a deal with us for, is to go out and get them double yays. Tell you, when I said my confidence was through the roof. It's into the stratosphere now. We got one goal this season. It ain't just the checkered flags. We're coming for that cup. And it's going to be hard to stop us. We're coming for it. We're coming for the championship. Woo-wee! Oh, I love to see it. Max points. It was freaking Anderson there in second. So he's not going to make this easy. Screw up one good time. And Anderson's going to be right there to take over the points lead. Sojos, down in seventh. Like to see that. Um, but let every lap, so max points day and max money day. So we cashed a big boy check. Oh, oh, what's that number? What is that number? Oh, yeah, that's a big number. $30,000 for one race. That's all the sponsor bonuses, the winner's purse, and the multipliers. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, let's see here. Um, last year, my total winnings was 124000 That's That's, uh, what, almost a quarter of that in one race? <laughs> oh, should be taking a bunch of money to that truck series when it comes time for that. And yeah, NASCAR Heat Weekly, what do you, domination. Hell yeah, it was domination. Crushed them, crushed them. Crystal Lake, Jason Jackson dazzled the full house crowd at Crystal Lake and silenced critics on February 26th. How, do, how would I even have critics? How would Jason Jackson have critics at this point? That is four straight wins in a row. What critics are there? <laughs> Who are the doubters? Have they not been watching the races? <laughs> Anyways, we silenced their stupid asses on February 26th with an impressive display of track magic and technical ability. Jackson said, I was motivated all week long after I received a piece of fan mail from a kid in Colorado. Makes me feel good. They, they missed the good part because that's continued on C4, and they didn't send us that page. <laughs> Domination at Crystal Lake. Jason Jackson, let's go. There's the results, but more importantly, here is the standing. So with Anderson, because I think he 
finished second in the first race too, didn't he? Pretty damn close. Well, we are currently 45 points up on Anderson. That's not a huge lead, but two straight wins. Um, even if we didn't win the next one or whatever, as long as as long as Anderson don't win, then we should be okay. We just got to finish above it again. Anderson's going to be the one we're going to have to uh, keep an eye on. He's the one we're going to have to worry about throughout the season, I'm afraid. So, um, Fungus and Company. No, it's like Fungilly. But Fungus and Company wants to give us uh, money for fastest lap. And that would have been nice and all, but we're under contract with uh, all these uh, fine gentlemen uh, at this point. So, um... We're going to have to pass on that. You should have said something after the first race. Um, but sucks to be you. But, um, yeah. Go at that. 102. We've broken the six-digit mark in our available funds, and that's only two races into the season. Keep doing that. We're going to have some serious funding heading into the truck series, um, hopefully next season after we snag this championship, but uh, that was fun, and I'm looking forward to more. I, I'm I'm more hyped uh, for this season than I've been probably any other season in this game so far. So um, I enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. And if you did, then you know what to do. You hit that thumbs up. You hit that like button. Uh, you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on uh, any more episodes with a new episode coming out every Monday night at 8 p.m. And if you're so inclined to do so, then uh, head over to Twitch. There should be a link in the description. Uh, give me a follow there. Stream every Tuesday and Thursday nights over there. Playing all types of games on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday night. Uh, and there's a link to the Grim Beardson Discord in the description as well. Uh, you can check that out. You can chat with me and my brother, who also streams, Suave Beardson. And uh, he streams every Wednesday and Sunday nights. So you can check that out and chat with us in the Discord. And um, you can stay up to date on all the different stream schedules and what games are being planned for next and all that good stuff. So... Um, that's going to be it for this one. I'm D. I'm the Grim Gamer, and we will catch you next time for another episode of Jason Jackson's career in NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. No, get out of the way. No, get out of the way. No, get out of the way. Get out of the way. You don't see me coming in your rearview mirror like 20 mile an hour faster than you. No, come here. Come here. Punk. Stay the hell out of my way, man. <laughs>